An emergency room physician is challenging the accusation that three Tacoma police officers caused the death of Manny Ellis. Testifying for the defense, Dr. Jennifer Stankus, who holds both a medical and a law degree and is a former police officer, told the jury that Ellis did not die from excessive use of force. So my opinion is that uh, Mr. Ellis had a toxic and lethal amount of methamphetamine in his system and that that the effects of that with his underlying heart disease caused his death. Dr. Thomas Clark, the former Pierce County medical examiner, determined Ellis died of oxygen deprivation caused by physical restraint used by the officers and ruled the case a homicide. In court, Clark also testified that Ellis's heartbeat the night he died was too regular for someone who was overdosing. But Dr. Sankis told the jury that the heart readout shows just the opposite, with indications well beyond normal. And she said Ellis's medical history showed he had been struggling with serious health problems long before his encounter with the officers. What that means is that many visits for um, either drug-related or um, trying to get help with that or with um, complaints of shortness of breath and chest pain. Um, it, w it was a common thread in those medical records. Officers Matthew Collins, Christopher Burbank, and Timothy Rankin are accused of repeatedly striking Ellis, putting a knee on his neck, tasing him when he showed signs, well, showed no sign of resistance, and then sitting on him for a prolonged amount of time when he was in custody. Under cross-examination, Stankis agreed that she had never personally examined Ellis's heart or other tissue. She also acknowledged that the officers putting all their weight on Ellis would have made it difficult for him to breathe.